Hi, I'm Greg, and welcome to America's Last Great Places. Today, we're exploring the Flint Hills landscape in Kansas, the number one rated last great place in the Osage Prairie Flint Hills ecoregion and among the top 500 great places in the lower 48 states. The Osage Plains Flint Hills ecoregion occupies much of eastern Kansas with portions in western Missouri and northeastern Oklahoma. The Flint Hills landscape is a large expanse of unplowed grassland identified as a top priority by the Nature Conservancy Ecoregional Plan. It totals over 3.6 million acres and extends almost 250 miles from north to south. Unlike most last great places, this area is almost completely privately owned. Tallgrass Prairie is the most converted, least protected ecosystem in North America. It once covered more than 170 million acres, but most of the tall grass prairie rich soil has been converted to cropland. Only about 4% remains today, mostly in the Flint Hills. The 47 mile long Flint Hills National Scenic Byway offers views of the native grasses and flowers of the tall grass prairie. The Tall Grass Prairie National Preserve is the U.S.'s only national park unit dedicated to the tall grass prairie. It is privately owned by the Nature Conservancy and co-managed with the National Park Service. The National Preserve includes over 40 miles of trails. We're in the Tall Grass Prairie National Preserve in the Flint Hills landscape in Kansas. The preserve is home to over 500 species of plants. In addition to the dominant grasses, such as big blue stem, Indian grass, switchgrass, and little blue stem, there's a huge diversity of wildflowers. The Lower Fox Creek Schoolhouse exemplifies the one-room schoolhouses that were fixtures across the prairies. It operated for almost 50 years. Some of the healthiest streams in Kansas are also in the Flint Hills. Three other areas are actively managed to conserve the Tallgrass Prairie. The Nature Conservancy's Joseph Williams Tallgrass Prairie Preserve in Oklahoma, the Army's Fort Riley at the northern section of the landscape, and the Kansa Prairie Biological Field Station. Each last great place is evaluated on seven key factors. They are scored and ranked against thousands of other places, both in their eco-region and across the country. The Flint Hills landscape has very high landscape diversity. It's a large site with both north-south and east-west complexity. It also has high ecosystem diversity with 41 upland and wetland ecological systems. The area has two endangered or threatened species. It has a relatively low human footprint, particularly for the agricultural Midwest, good vegetation condition, and is predicted to have fair resilience to climate change more so in the northern part of the landscape. The Flint Hills landscape is largely comprised of private ranch lands with less than 100,000 acres of its 3.6 million acres legally protected. The Flint Hills landscape stands out as a large, healthy, intact example of the once vast tall grass prairie ecosystem. <music> 